Mount Bachelor. Versus Tumalo Mountain. Which is better? Welcome to The Bend, where we explore Bend and Central Oregon. Today we're gonna to do a little backcountry skiing on Mount Bachelor and compare it to Tumalo Mountain. So Mount Bachelor is probably one of the best mountains in the Pacific Northwest. You can actually ski 360 degrees around the butte. It's serviced by six or seven high-speed quads, probably about 3,000 skiable acres and about 3,000 feet of elevation. It is a butte, so it's not the steepest mountain around, although it does have plenty of steeps. It has great powder for the Pacific Northwest. It's only a 25-minute car ride to Bend, about 19 miles, so it's really convenient for uh, skiing uh, in Bend in Central Oregon. And right behind me is Tumalo Mountain, where James is back at your skiing today. The thing you get about Mount Tumalo is it's just like a white playground. Not a lot of people and a huge bowl. So it's worth coming up, short ride from Bend, and you don't deal with the masses on the resort. But you do have to walk a lot. Tumalo Trail is a 3.8 mile well-trafficked uphill from Dutchman's Flat parking lot just across from Mount Bachelor. You'll gain 1400 feet and then you'll drop into the backside for as many laps as you can complete. This bowl can avalanche so you need the proper training and the right gear. Uh, lots of other playgrounds out there but this one is close to home and some of our favorite. Especially when you consider the alternative of crowds at Mount Bachelor. The mountain looks nice, but look at all these people. There must be there must be a thousand people out here trying to backcountry ski or hike up the mountain, boot pack up the mountain. It is not a secret anymore. The mountain has not even been open yet, and it looks like it's been skied all day as a regular lift operation. Was it ever a secret? Well, you know, I think it was. I think the cone was well known, but generally people uh, this early before the lifts uh, mountain opened, they wouldn't be up back into skiing the entire mountain. This year, I think because of the pandemic, there are thousands of people trying out the back into gear and jumping in the snow early. And the thing is, Bachelor is so big and so beautiful, it kind of doesn't matter. Bachelor is pretty crowded. It is a beautiful mountain and you know you get off the beaten path and you pretty much have the mountain to yourself and you've got views like that behind me. That looks like uh, that looks like uh, South Sister right behind me there. Is that South Sister? No. So you can see this run while it is groomed. There's absolutely no one on it but me. So it's uh, pretty nice. So yeah while well, Tumalo is pretty sweet James. Bachelor has its upsides as well. I get it, and Bachelor is nice. But look at this, and you can do anything over here.
These aren't all views from Tomalo, but let's just call it an ode to the backcountry, a place where you can get out, explore, see things you've never seen before. Come on, Tumalo over Bachelor any day. Well, I mean, Tumalo's pretty good, but you know, Bachelor has so many more options. You've got the trees, you've got the steeps, you've got the, you've got the summit, and then of course you've got the cone, which is kind of side country anyhow. But I'll tell you what, Tumalo's a lot of fun. I enjoy it too. Hey, by the way, the bar's looking pretty good. Yeah, thanks. You know, I wasn't sure whether Kim would let me uh, nail uh, planks to the wall, but she did. So we'll talk more about that next, uh, next episode. Good, should we show everyone how to do skins? Yeah, let's cut some skins. When you back at your ski, one of the things you need to do is put skins on your skis. So here we have the back of the ski, and you need a skin in order to skin up the up the hill. So I'm going to show you how to cut a skin for your backcountry skis. There's a new G3 skin. This is the tip of the skin. You're going to click on here, like so, and the skin runs down the back of the ski and connects at the tail. We've dry fit the skin onto the ski. We adjust the tail so that the skin is pretty tight on the ski, but it's still not, the adhesive plastic covering is still on there. Now we need to get the brakes out of the way, so I'm gonna put the boot on the ski. Boot's mounted, the skin's dry fit. You can see that there's an overhang. You can see the overhang of the skin that we're gonna to need to trim. You want the skin to fit over the whole ski, but leaving the edges showing so that when you're skinning, you can use your edges to bite in on icy parts of the ski. We're going to trim the skin so that it fits perfectly on the back of the ski. And we're going to use the G3 tool to trim the skin. The next thing we're gonna do is take off the plastic and adhere the skin to the ski. So you can see the skin trimmer has ski, trim the skis, so just the edge is showing. And here it is, about halfway in. I just have to finish it down to the edge. The skin is perfectly trimmed and you're ready to test drive them backcountry skiing. All the way down to the bottom. Boom. Well, I guess we both had fun. There's really only one way to find out what's better. Just get out there. Central Oregon has endless amounts of backcountry skiing accessible by snowmobile or just walking for a while, and much of it is within minutes of Bend. If you'd like to see more of what Bend has to offer, hit subscribe. Thanks for exploring with us.